Tinuguan. Oh, it's Tinuguan. Yep. It's Tinuguan. Yes. Cheers. Make a small hole. Yeah, don't bite straight into it. Like uh, work yourself around it. Sweet. Um, super soft. Way yeah. Softer than in Iceland. Today is a very special day, guys, because my family from Iceland is finally coming to the Philippines. So in the next coming weeks, uh, we'll be taking them around the Philippines. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you about all of where we're gonna go. But first, I'm picking up my uh, younger brother. He arrives earlier because he's in uh, Bangkok. He's been traveling around uh, Southeast Asia. And then I pick up dad and his partner, uh, from Dubai they're actually flying from Dubai so they come at separate time of the day dad comes in the evening and my brother in the morning super pumped guys can't wait to uh, finally meet them here and I uh, show them around look at here this is wild wow crazy rain guys Leaking? Yeah. Oh, it's leaking. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Smell bad. Yeah. Well, we haven't seen the river like this before, and uh, the locals are out here as well, checking it out. I'm amazed the bamboo bridge is still standing. Like everybody is just mesmerized seeing so much water coming out here. Oh no, it's so muddy. <laughs> I mean, this amazes me that the bamboo bridge stood that. It's still standing here and this is normally how the river looks like. Anyways, uh, we got some reports that uh, the road leading up to our land is uh, heavily damaged. And uh, we met people yesterday that had to go on a bike down the mountain and even a 4x4 truck couldn't even go through it. So I want to investigate if it's actually our road or someone else's road because I feel like it's very important we know this information for the future and how we can prepare better for storms like this and heavy rainfall. So let's check out the road leading up to our land. Beautiful today, look at that! <laughs> Loose guys! Okay, we made it to the road and there are some damages but so far all good. And uh, this is the part that's about to be cemented in the next year or so. So I would say about 30% of the road to the land is not cemented yet. Which is great. Great, great. This one is brand new. Done a couple of weeks ago. And this part is complete. This electric pole made out of bamboo didn't hold up <laughs> okay that's interesting um, yeah some small aftermath here not nothing too crazy now this is the only part I was slightly worried about the rainfall and if anything was gonna come down here in the mountain but uh, so far so good looks quite nice I'm very surprised Half very happy and confident to see this as it is now after that crazy rain. Not a single landslide. There's a lot of uh, tiny crevasses in the road, which is just normal from water flow, but nothing too serious. So all this gravel here that's been put into here to a little bit reduce the muddy part, but it has just created another creek over there. I told them they have to make a pipe under it, but that's not good job. So uh, maybe I have to do a small runoff here because this whole area here doesn't have any gravel it seems. This is just pure mud and any car that's gonna drive here is gonna get stuck in this. This part seems to be all right. 
So I'm definitely gonna upgrade Anna pretty soon and go from a scooter to a sort of some sort of uh, off-ride bike because the scooter doesn't have any traction. So every single small rock, you really feel it. <laughs> so they have about two months to finish the road. They're connected to our land, but worst case scenario, we have this axis here. This is right above our lot. And we go through exactly what I'm walking right now with the small trucks with material for the construction. They pass through here and then straight down. And that's where our lot is. Just a flat, beautiful grass that you can drive, no problem. The truck will come down straight here and then boom, down there. All of these lots here got sold in an instant almost. And like I said, this is the only way to get these type of lots this cheap if the road is not complete with cement. It's the only way in Philippines. That's the only way. So I believe we got it at a perfect timing for us because we're still young. So we can uh, live with it that the road is not 100% for a couple of years. Or maybe just one or two years, who knows. So we're okay with that. Ah, oh, the breeze here. Ooh, love it. Boot, boot. Ed, are you ready to try real? Oh, look at that, Jimny. <laughs> yeah, let's try it, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. Papinka, classic coconut, and put boot. Salamat. One, one, ah, uh, two. 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 Yeah, Pila Mam. One. Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh, 20, 35, 65. We're shopping for some fruit. And the trick with mango, this is mango. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like a mango. The trick is to smell it. Smell red? Right? Yeah. Has to smell sweet. Yeah, sweet. Sweet. You find the sweet. This one? Oh yeah, good. this one is good. Yeah. Smell this one. Smells better? Smells sweet. Yeah. You can find us, ma'am, uh, maybe four or five. Four or five? Yes, please. What's the uh, price per kilo now? 160 lang. 160? Yes. Mahal? Yeah. Mahal. 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 <laughs> but it's sweet already. Yep, yep. Oh, that one looks nice. Perfect. Four or five? Oh, we can do five. Five, sure. Have you ever seen something like that? I don't think you're supposed to eat that, to be honest. That's a fruit. <laughs> it is so delicious. It's called the Rabba Tuan. Yeah, pick it up. Get some of that. So, my brother, you said you've never seen or tried this fruit before. No, it looks like a uh, fish from the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will teach you how to open it and then, of course, eat it. Inside, you just make a small hole in it and then you pull it mm. apart. Yeah. And then you have this beautiful white fruit, but inside, there's a huge seed. So you gotta eat around the seed. Don't wanna bite into the seed because it's very bitter. Mmm, so good. All right, take one. Make a small hole, pull it apart. There we go. Yeah, don't bite straight into it, like uh, work yourself around it. How's the taste? Good. Sweet, huh? It's hard to... Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one to eat around. I have no idea what I'm doing. But it's sweet, huh? It's good, it's definitely good. Nice one. How's the view? It's okay, I guess. It's okay. <laughs> Not like... 
like in Iceland though. <laughs> <laughs> My brother just arrived this morning and uh, Sherlin picked him up and uh, he told me something very interesting about his feeling of coming to the Philippines because he was just finishing traveling around Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos, right? So four countries. But he told me something that I experienced as well when I arrived to the Philippines for the first time. So it's very cool to hear that from him as well. Can you explain like what, how you felt when you arrived in the airport in Manila? Um, yeah, so just a friendly welcome from the start, especially coming from Bangkok. I felt it immediately at the airport in Bangkok and arriving in the Philippines. Everyone was so welcoming, wanting to help, pointing out where to go. Even even though I didn't ask for help, they saw I was yeah. a little bit lost and just do you need any help? Just friendly people. I mean, it's just it, it's that's how it is when you come to the Philippines. The people they completely change the vibe of once you're there. Um, of course, you know it might not be that forever because of mass tourism. It will happen one day for sure. I look at Thailand, the Philippines, very similar, except Philippines has uh, a lot more to see. So uh, in the future, there's going to be a mass tourism for sure, but I hope it's done in the right way. But uh, as of now, the people in the Philippines uh, is how we always explain it. It's uh, super nice to hear that from my brother. But on to the next thing. <laughs> We're doing the Filipino Philippines fruit test. Yeah. Now it's the ultimate test. <laughs> got a potato over here. <laughs> potato! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 whoa, 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 okay, so usually we cut it, but there's a trick to peel it off, how I do it, if I'm just on the road, don't have a knife with me or anything, just peel it off, how was it? Not a potato, I can tell you. <laughs> Sweet, um, super soft. Yeah. It's softer than in Iceland. Very soft. It's just tasty and juicy. Mmm. Fraubert, as you say. Excellent. Say in Icelandic. Perfect. Welcome to the Philippines, Ed. We're gonna have a blast. Thanks so too. And uh, then later tonight, I'll be picking up my par uh, my dad and his uh, girlfriend. And then uh, we have a big week in the head. They're gonna learn scuba diving, etc. We're also gonna drive home now to uh, try some other food as well. The locals brought us something uh, very traditional. So uh, let's try that out next. How it's good is it? It's just like melting in my mouth. Wow. Never tasted a mango like this. How do you rate it from zero to 10 in uh, fruit scale? Ten. Wow. Yeah. The best fruit you ever had? I think so, yeah. Like you can't eat mango in Iceland like this. You have to cut it up. Exactly. Alright, we made it back home and while uh, we're waiting for our dad to come around, we're all about trying out some Filipino food for my brother. First and foremost, you can see the size. He's a quite Taller than I am. Yeah, and wider too. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay, we got a really cool things here. Of course, sticky rice, some fruits, babinka that we bought earlier, and uh, buput. No, what was this? What's the name of that? Suman. She said different earlier. Bud but, but. but, but. Yeah, but, but. And then to top it all off, we have pork blood stew. I think there's a pieces of pork as well. It's actually so the meat of pork and then mixed with the blood. Blood of pork. Blood of pork. If you eat this, then you're certified Iceland yeah. Pinoy. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you want to start? <laughs> I think, to be honest, I want to start with the blood. And yeah. Just wash it off. Nice uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> wash it. Off. Okay, so uh, you won't be alone doing this, Ed. You need to say the word first. Dinuguan. Oh, it's Dinuguan? Yep. It's Dinuguan? Yes. Oof, I'm a little bit nervous actually. So get a piece with the meat. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's a liver piece. I don't like liver. Yeah. It's not chewy. It's like really soft. That's a liver piece then. Oh yeah? It's not too bad the sauce and the taste, but I'm not a liver guy. Good job. Approved. Cheers. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Babinga. Yeah. What is this? So we have two types here. Uh, they're basically uh, made out of the coconut and mixed with the flour and sugar. So very sweet. You can see this all over Philippines on the road. Yeah. That's better. That's a lot better, yeah. That's better. Mm. Good, good. Yeah. Wrapped up in a, a banana leaf, I think. But it's very sticky. Sticky and uh, tasty for sure. Okay, so we got the brownish. It's like a local candy. So if you're hiking or doing something activity, this is a huge power. Go for it. Mmm, like candy. It is. Sweet. Gummy. Yeah, it's like a gummy bar. I like it. Awesome. By the way, our neighbor brought the dinner go on, so shout out to my neighbor. That's a very local thing here in the Philippines. I've told them many times, once you live here, yeah, everybody becomes like a community. <laughs> so. They've helped us a lot throughout the last couple of years and uh, they gave us a welcome meal for my family. <laughs> it doesn't get like that. It's blood. It's proper blood. That's true, that's a good point. But uh, we have to try this. I almost <coughs> forgot it. It's called pomelo. And this is a fruit that is uh, very interesting. It can be very sweet, a little bit bitter. But it's challenging to open, so you can yeah. you can try to open it. Just go for it. Yeah, however you want. <sighs> Basically, it's impossible. That's the food. That's the part you eat. Nope, oh. not yet. We're not. We need to go deeper. Yeah. Ooh, and it looks like a grape. Yes, very similar to grape, but this one. It's more sweet. Let's see. Yeah, maybe it's not. Yeah. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah, not as bitter as a uh, mm. bitter as a grape, but yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I like this one. A lot less bitter. This one is good. Still haven't tried that one. Okay, last one. How is this one? Still like the fruit more, to be honest. But yeah, the fruit is uh, of course better. Uh, don't the worry, there's a lot of fruits here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more like a, a snack on the road, or yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty good. It's actually a rice that's um, mixed with coconut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna relax a little bit, and then in the morning we're gonna move my family to uh, Pura Vida for a very nice villa. And then now uh, they're gonna start uh, learning scuba diving. So uh, just a small, fun video while we're waiting. Show them around uh, uh, it around the town, the small, cool bar uh, municipality of Darwin. And then yeah, we have a lot of uh, locations to cover. We'll be going from Negros to Cebu, Palawan. So it's a massive package coming up. Everything from high-end Philippines has to offer to the most rural local experience in the villages so uh, I'm super excited to give them the uh, whole package of the Philippines all right peace out see ya welcome to the super hot weather yeah and he's used to it it's been like uh, one and a half months in South I'm not Asia. used to it <laughs> <laughs> you'll never get used to it <laughs> already sweating even you you're sweating yeah <laughs> That's why we need electric fun. Okay, turn on the <laughs> all the, <electric> all the <laughs> motors. How many electric fans <laughs> here?
No air gun here, sorry. 